Hello, Pisces viewers. Let's see what's going on with your love lives. Yeah, so this could be a past person, pre uh, present, future, ex, soulmate, twin flame, however it resonates. Let's see what's going on. Eight of Swords, so kind of being stuck in a situation where it's like, there's a way out, you know, if you guys aren't communicating, it's like, there's a way out, there's a way to fix this, there's a way to resolve whatever it is that's holding you or them back, you guys just aren't seeing it, you're not fully aware of it, um, things look so much worse than they really are. So we have the Eight of Swords, the Queen of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, Judgment, and the Knight of Wands. I feel like somebody is holding on to their pride. So this is either you or your, you know, the person in question. Somebody wants to confess their feelings. Somebody wants to be open about what they feel and what they want. But they're just holding on to their pride and they're holding on to fear. And there might be some miscommunication. There's just some kind of block where they're just, they don't know if they would be accepted. See, the Queen of Swords is somebody who's independent and they're a good judge of character and they control their emotions. They're very logical. It's not an emotional... Swords is not an emotional suite like the other... Um, like Cups is emotions, but Swords is more about logic and independence and it can be even a harsh energy at times. You know, the, the Queen of Swords isn't exactly soft... With the Six of Pentacles, too, I mostly just get that this person is very insecure. It's like they feel like they feel like you're too good for them. They feel like you really have your shit together. Um, with the Six of Pentacles, it's like somebody who's wealthy. This is going to be charity, um, abundance. You know, somebody who's generous, who is wealthy, who's financially stable and independent. So I'm thinking that maybe you could... Um, you know, you have a good job or you have, maybe maybe they're laid off work right now and you're still working or you have your own house or apartment or you have a nice car or you're just, there's something about you that makes them look at you and think, wow, she really is financially independent and stable um, or he, you know, depending on it, whatever, however your story plays out, it's, it's you know, this applies to both genders. So it's whatever, um, whatever resonates for you. I almost wonder if for some of you, maybe you try to present this image to this person that you like or to an ex or, you know, it, you, you know what your story is. It's, it's whatever person is coming to mind, whatever, you know, whoever you think this resonates with. Um, and it's like your person, it's like, I wonder if you're, you're almost, I don't know if playing hard to get is the right word, but it's like you have this confident air about you. You're kind of controlling your emotions. You might not be. You might be wanting them to chase you, I think. You might be kind of just holding back a little bit and kind of... I wouldn't go as far as saying playing hard to get, but it's kind of like you're just... You have this... You might be dressing up for them or you're just trying to present this this confident, beautiful, seductive image to them. And it's like your person is so shy and insecure that where that might work on a lot of men, I feel like it doesn't work on him because I feel like he just thinks, wow, like... She has everything together. She has what why what good could I bring into her life? Why would she need me? You know, she's so independent and strong and her finances, you know, she has a nice car, a nice house or her finances are so stable like like why what what would she possibly get from me? What could I possibly bring to the table? You know, like she's too good for me. Um and you got to decide, like, do you want somebody who's that insecure? Because I feel like this person really is insecure. And it's like they want to reach out and they do think about you and they do like you. But they just think that you're way out of their league. So they don't even try. They just see you and then they just kind of retreat into this shell. And they just don't know what to say to you. And they're just very awkward around you. But I think that they're trying to come out of that energy. I feel like maybe their exes or just the things that they've been through have made them kind of insecure and kind of just weighed them down. But I feel like they actually are really trying to come out of that with the um, 
the judgment card and the knight of wands you see this person right here and the judgment card is is like looking they're looking for they're trying to look away from the past they're trying to look away from all the people and the situations in the past that have dragged them down all the people that told them they weren't good enough you know family members that made them feel like they weren't good enough situations job loss um poverty regret just pain isolation all the things that they've been through it's like they're trying to just let go and and make a judgment call and move on from that past energy and be strong and confident and be your match like they want to be your match they just don't know how like they just see you as this like they might think you're like a model they might, they might think you're completely beautiful or it's like emotionally you're just so stable you're just so like they they feel like a peasant around you basically they, they see you as a queen and they feel like a peasant but it's ridiculous because it's like you're trying to just get their attention and they don't pick up on the cues like they don't they don't get it they don't understand it they're not picking up on your hints really they're picking like a little bit but I think that they doubt themselves so much that they get stuck in their head and so it's like you think they're going to come forward finally and then they like give they they overthink it and they come up with some reason not to they come up with some reason why it's the wrong timing or why they're not good enough for you or why you probably already are seeing somebody else or you probably wouldn't want them once you got to know them or their ex is dramatic and you wouldn't want to deal with that, you know, because their ex is, is messed them up or whatever. It's like they just they overthink it and they come up with reasons not to talk to you when they should. But they do want to. That desire is there. And they're making a judgment call right now. I think they're trying to get out of this past energy, this insecurity. They're making a judgment call and they're looking to the Knight of Wands, which is, you know, fire, um, you could be a fire sign or you could just have this like fiery passionate energy about you but it's like this this bold action um you know being better than they were before um getting out of their head and taking this bold leap of faith it's like maybe they're going to come to your door or they're going to call you or message you but they're going to shake and they're going to be awkward it's like it's kind of like that energy like they where they might maybe they'll come to your door or they'll talk to you somehow but they're going to like have an anxiety attack before they come, you know, or they're going to be shaky and nervous or like they want to ask you on a date, but they're going to be so awkward and so shy and like not know what to say to you. And sometimes they might even say something that comes off the wrong way because it's like they, they want to show you who they are, but they're just so socially awkward that it's like they don't know how to do that, you know, but, um, but yeah, they're trying to take a leap of faith with you. They really are. They're trying to step out of their comfort zone. They're trying to, they're almost trying to fake confidence because I don't think they do have the confidence right now, but they're kind of just trying to force themselves to just make that move, even if they shake, even if they're, you know, even like coming to your door, even if they shake and they're scared and they don't know what to say, they're just trying to push themselves to your door, you know, and they're just trying to take that first step. Um, and just hoping for the best and just hoping that you guys can finally because it's like you guys are like on the same page but you don't know how they feel they don't know how you feel you guys aren't communicating well or you're not communicating at all um, it's like so much confusion and, and this person's insecurity is a, a big cause of it you know this person's insecurity is is and their unwillingness to let go of their 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 pride and their fear of rejection of, of pain is is a big part of why you guys aren't together right now you know um yeah but but again they're trying they're trying to they're 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 trying to work up that they're they're trying to push themselves again they're not i don't it, I, I guess you could call it courage because even if they're they're nervous and shaky they're still going to try to come but it's like they're um just faking confidence i guess you could say let's see what else we can get on this situation it might be one of those situations where I think you might have to take the lead more than them, but it's just, it's so difficult because it's like they, they overthink and they overanalyze. So you could straight up say, you could message this person right now and be like, hey, I like you. And he or she would probably just like get butterflies and be all excited and happy. And then they would lay on their bed and they would think, well, why does she like me? What would she like about me? Why would anybody like me? Does she mean she likes me as a friend? Is she just trying to tell me she likes me as a friend? Is that why she said that? Like, this person is ridiculous. Like, this person's mind is just like, God, 
they're frustrating. They're really frustrating. So it's like you have to be so careful how you word things with them because they overanalyze and it leads to miscommunication and their insecurities, you know, like their perspective is just based so much on their insecurities. So it's like, even if you're kind of forward about your feelings, it's like, they still don't get it. They still find some reason why it must just be a game that life is playing on them or it must, maybe they misunderstood you. You know, it's like, you would have to like pin them down and make out with them for them to get that you are trying to come on to them. You know what I mean? Like they, they're kind of just not all there. You're not, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but let me see what else I can get. No worries. A lot of our, a lot of the, the masculines are not, or feminines, you know, this could be, if you're a man watching, this could be your woman. It could, could go either way, but, um, or, or male, male, female, female. It's, it's however, however it resonates for you, whatever your story is, you know, this, this applies, this, these readings apply to everyone. These readings apply to anybody who's drawn to them, but let's see what else we can get here. They do, I will say that they do seem like a sweet person, though. Like, they seem, I don't know, you got to sit and think, like, is this person assertive enough for you? Like, is this energy enough for you? You know what I mean? Like, I do feel like this is probably a soulmate connection. Um, maybe you and a twin flame for some of you. I feel like the majority is just a soulmate past life connection. But, you know, you do have to think, too, like, is this enough for you? Is this person too shy for you? Are they too awkward for you? Like, are you going to be able to have that patience with them? Are you going to be able to reassure them and and help them work through their shit and their insecurities and, and help, you know, help them build their confidence? Because I do feel like, I mean, it's a struggle with this person, you know what I mean? It's going to take them quite a bit of time to develop anything that even resembles genuine confidence. So, um, but they are sweet. I do feel like they have a good heart. I think that they've just been through a lot and I think they're just kind of numb and just kind of exhausted from life. So, you know, just really think if this is, cause you don't want to damage this person more cause they've, they've already been through so much and they can't, they need healing right now. They need to be vulnerable and safe and loved and protected. Um, they've been put down and bullied. They probably, they're probably bullied in school. I think, um, probably bullied by their exes too probably you know bullied into submission basically and so it's like they kind of don't fully know who they are right now but I do feel like this person is a good person like they are loving they are genuine they do have a good heart um but but yeah just giving them that reassurance it will be a struggle for you so you got to decide if that's worth it to you um, I would say, you know, don't get involved unless it is worth it to you, unless you know for sure that this is your person and that you want this. Because, um, again, they need, they need, they're a very gentle person, and so they need very gentle energy. They need very loving, healing energy, especially right now. They're in a very vulnerable place, so you have to be extra gentle with them and extra careful about how you word things. Well, let's see what else we can get on this connection. Yeah, and they could be a bit codependent. I don't think that they're codependent. See, because I always, when I when I channel, you know, I just made these cards recently too. And when I channel, I really focus on, you know, certain words. Like, I'm not looking at, I could read this card differently in a different reading. You feel me? Like, for this card, I'm looking at the word codependency. So I think that they are very codependent. I think that they do need a lot of reassurance. Um... Let's see, we have Mutual Dream, we have Sage, we have Channeling, Summoning. Yeah, they're trying to summon, um, summon you, they are. They're trying to call out to you. It's like they dream about you, they miss you, they want to talk to you. They just don't, they're trying to have the guts finally. So looking at these cards, I think that your person is currently healing from an issue with me, like with psychic vampires, just people that were dragging them down. Um, mutual dream. This is 
it's telepathic dream communication. So you could be having dreams about them. They might be having dreams about you. You guys, you know, might be just connecting astrally. Um, you might be connecting in the astral realm and just um, communicating through your dreams right now. I do feel like this person, because this person is very, like, gentle and loving and empathetic. So I think they are very damaged, but I do think that they probably do have a lot of psychic abilities that they haven't tapped into. They probably didn't really have the confidence to tap into it yet. And I feel like your connection is sort of helping with them with that. I think that your connection is kind of pushing them to... Um, to be more empathetic, to be to be softer, to be more open, more loving, and um, to explore that side of themselves. With Sage here, this is uncrossing. So again, they have to heal right now. They're basically purging, cleansing, and they are becoming more psychically aware. They are starting to channel. I don't know if they're conscious that that's what they're doing, that they're channeling, but they are starting to tap into their psychic ability and, and like like I was just saying with the other spread that we did they really are wanting they do see you as above them they do see you as too good for them but even though they even though they're terrified and they don't know what they have to offer you they still don't want to just let go of the connection they do want to come forward they are trying to push themselves forward so if you get a hey what's up and it doesn't seem like much it's it's they're, they're doing all they can right now. Um, or they might just be a little bit awkward when you guys talk. They might be hard to read. They might be kind of confusing. They might, maybe their body language or their behavior sends mixed messages. Um, they are, they're trying to force themselves out of that shyness and that awkwardness. So, you know, again, they might be shaky and nervous and weird if you guys go on a date or if they finally come forward and, and talk to you or confess their feelings. It might be a little bit... They, they might not word it they might word it in some weird ways they 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 don't have great communication skills from what i get from this group so just keep that in mind but they are trying to push themselves they do want you in their life and they are trying to summon you they're setting the intention they're trying to call you to them they're they're pushing themselves to take that next leap of faith and you guys are communicating in the astral realm a lot right now too um, this energy is manifesting. I think I think it's I think synchronicity is guiding both of you guys right now back to each other. Um, I don't think this energy has fully manifested in the physical world yet. I mean, it has. How do I explain that? Like a lot of the inner work they're doing right now, like the uncrossing and the healing and letting go of the old exes and whatnot. Like a lot of that, a lot of it stuff right now, like that is going on in the astral realm. So it's kind of like it hasn't fully physically manifested. Like this person isn't confident yet. They're probably working on being the person they want to be astrally. But like on a conscious physical level, they're still not sure of who they are. But I, I do still see them reaching out to you. I do see the desire there. I think they're, I don't can't say for sure they will because they do get in their head a lot and overthink things. But they they are trying to with this group you might have to kind of take the lead with them they're they're kind of on the more submissive side i feel um i think that maybe in the past they tried to explore their more dominant side and probably shut down um so i think they just they aren't in tune with their dominant side very much so you might have to kind of take control with this person a little bit um you know, be gentle with them, too, because they are very fragile, but, but, yeah. Fairy realm. This is, you know, you have natural seduction and beauty and charm. Like, you, they find you seductive. They find you just naturally beautiful. You could also have a fairy soul, or they could have a fairy soul. Um, like, you guys might not be from this realm, if that makes any sense. But you, you it's mostly, I think, talking about your, just how seductive they find you. That they just find you, they find you very beautiful. It's, like, intimidating to them. So, the desire is there. It's it's a good reading overall. Um, if this resonates with you, if you feel like this is your story, please go ahead and, and like, share, um, subscribe below. I do these pretty frequently. I do the, a couple Zodiac readings a month, and then I also do third-party relationship readings on a regular basis, too. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.